So we will see transformers. So what is meant by transformers? A transformer is a static device which transfers AC electrical power from one circuit to another circuit by means of electromagnetic induction at the same frequency. In a transformer, uh, it transfers electrical power from one circuit to another circuit. There is no change in power from primary to secondary. I can say V1 I1 is equal to V2 I2 in a transformer always. So with the same frequency that is just a transfer of electrical power from one circuit to another circuit. So it is called transformer. Also it is used to convert a high voltage to low voltage and vice versa and low voltage to high voltage. When it is converting high voltage to low voltage it is called as step down transformer. When it is converting low voltage to high voltage it is called as step up transformer construction of transformers a transformer works on the principle of mutual induction a principle of mutual induction states that when the two coils are mutually or inductively coupled and if the current in one coil changes uniformly then the emf gets induced in the other coil so there is a concept of mutual induction. This EMF can drive a current when the closed path is provided to it. So what is meant by this? So uh, there is a mutual induction takes place here when the primary is supplied with the voltage, voltage source. That is E is equal to EM sin omega T is applied because AC voltage, always we are applying AC voltage for a transformer. Primary current starts flowing in a circuit. So this is uh, the primary coil in which a primary current starts flowing in the circuit. When the primary current starts flowing in the primary coil, it sets up a flux in the primary winding. I can call it a phi 1. So this flux will induce a voltage in the secondary coil due to mutual inductance. So, so this secondary coil also having flux because this flux produced by the primary which links with the secondary also which links with the secondary also if there is any change in the primary current the primary induced current will change flux in the primary winding will change in turn the flux in the secondary winding will change it will induce a voltage in the secondary winding So that is called uh, if current in the coil changes that means say in the primary current in the coil changes there is EMF gets induced in the other coil. So that is the meaning of this and this EMF induced it will drive a current if a closed path has been provided to it. So when the load it has been connected in the secondary of a transformer a current start flowing in the circuit. So now operation of a transformer. How the operation transformer takes place? Uh, as I told earlier, when the input voltage has been given to the primary winding of a transformer, current starts, the primary current IP will start flowing in the circuit. This primary current sets a flux in the primary coil, which in turn induces a voltage, the primary induced EMF, which links with the secondary coil which links with the secondary coil if any changes in the primary current which directly affects the EMF induced in the secondary EMF induced in the secondary coil is given by ES ES because the flux which is created in the primary coil which links with the secondary coil due to mutual induction which creates a flux which in, in turn induces EMF in the secondary coil when the load has been connected to the secondary of a transformer and when a closed path has been provided for a secondary of a transformer a secondary current starts flowing in the circuit if you observe closely 
the direction of the secondary current is quite opposite to the direction of primary current which is flowing in the windings in the windings even if it has been it is looking like this if you uh, if you trace this path it goes opposite in the winding when compared to the direction of current of primary winding why because the secondary current always it opposes the cause which is producing it what, then what is the cause of production of secondary current so this secondary current is produced because of the secondary voltage secondary voltage this secondary voltage is produced because of the primary induced voltage this primary induced voltage is produced because changes in the flux in the primary side this changes of flux because the primary current has been changed so always this secondary current opposes the primary current and this primary current is due to the supply voltage so everything is interlinked so this secondary current is opposing always the primary current in a transformer that is very very important this is the principle of operation of a transformer so when the input voltage has been given current start flowing in the primary winding which sets up flux so this is primary induced emf will be produced that will links the flux links with the secondary if any changes in the primary current it induces voltage in the secondary and when closed path has been provided for the secondary of a transformer secondary current start flowing in the circuit which oppose the cause which is producing it that is the primary current so the same thing has been uh, told here primary quality supplied is ac voltage current i1 drawn produces a magnetic field the flux phi links with both the windings because of the mutual induction so it will links with the both the windings flux induces emf e1 in the primary which opposes the cos v1 so once again uh, i can say this uh, the emf induced in the primary so it will oppose the cos that is the primary applied voltage so this is the primary applied voltage this is primary induced emf so magnetic field uh, transported to a secondary coil via magnetic circuit so magnetic field induces a voltage in the secondary coil is called e2 so this is called a secondary induced emf e2 or es next comes transformation and turns ratio so ratio of secondary side voltage to primary side voltage of a transformer is called transformation ratio it is given by k is equal to v2 by v1 that can also be written as i1 by i2 because i1 and i2 are quite opposite to each other so v2 by v1 is equal to i1 by i2 that is equal to n2 by n1 where n2 by n1 can be called as turns ratio so n1 is equal to primary side turns n2 is equal to secondary side turns v1 primary side voltage or supply voltage v2 secondary side voltage or load side voltage next emf equation for transformer due to sinusoidally varying voltage v1 applied to the primary side the flux setup in the core is given by phi is equal to phi m sin omega t as we are applying uh, input voltage to the primary of a transformer v is equal to vm sin omega t current start flowing in the circuit it is given by i is equal to im sin omega t when current start flowing in the primary of a transformer it sets up a flux which is uh, also in the form of phi is equal to phi m, phi m sin omega t why because flux always follows the current so phi m sin omega 2 pi f t so induced emf in a winding is given by e is equal to minus n into d phi by dt <coughs> that is faraday's law of electromagnetic induction and minus sign is due to lenz's law so minus n d by dt phi we can substitute here phi is equal to phi m sin omega t and um, if you take out phi m outside and omega and uh, sin omega t cos omega t and uh, omega n phi m as it is uh, minus cos omega t can be written as sin of theta minus 90 or omega t minus 90 so when sin of omega t minus 90 is equal to 1 so this e is equal to omega n phi m it has got its maximum value or peak value 
the peak value of induced emf will be when sin of omega t minus 90 is equal to 1 so for that reason it has been given as e is equal to em the maximum value omega n phi m but we are always concentrating on rms value of induced emf e is equal to em by root 2 we know that rms value is equal to maximum by root 2 so maximum value already seen omega n phi m by root 2 omega is equal to 2 pi f n phi m by root 2 so if you substitute this or if you resolve this you will get 4.44 f n phi m where f is equal to supply frequency phi m is equal to maximum value of flux n it may be n1 or n2 depending upon e1 or e2 where e1 is equal to primary induced emf and e2 is equal to secondary induced emf and also n1 is equal to primary number of turns and n2 is equal to secondary number of turns so if you substitute here n1 or e1 so you have to write here n1 if you are finding e2 we need to write here n2 so this is called as emf equation for transform next types of uh, transformers um, mainly transformers of uh, two types one is a core type transformer second one is shell type transformer what is the core type transformer what is the features of core type transformer here windings encircles the core only one magnetic circuit so what is winding encircles the core so here it is called core type transformer here winding encircles the core so you can observe here the windings are encircles the core one magnetic circuit so uh, when the current start flowing in the primary so magnetic circuit will be creating the flux lines will flow here only one magnetic circuit will be creating here the flux lines will be going like this in the core preferred in low power transformers whose voltage rating is less than 11 kilovolts where voltage rating is less than 11 kilovolts core is made from stacking silicon steel laminations to reduce hysteresis and eddy current loss so core is made from stackings and silicon steel laminations so this is the core of a transformer uh, for which the bindings are wound here so how this core has been made so this core is made up of silicon steel lamination laminated this is a very thin laminated shield so these are staggered so they are pressed together they are staggered to form a core uh, uh, thousands of lakhs of this uh, very thin laminations are joined together pressed together they compressed together to form this kind of core and each this very thin lamination it may be of in terms of mm maybe 1 mm or 2 mm thickness so this single lamination it has got only that much thickness so each lamination it is uh, insulated from each other so it is called uh, each laminations are coated with a varnish to provide insulation so each lamination is uh, coated with a varnish because this each lamination is insulated from each other uh, it is everything is made to reduce hysteresis and eddy current loss so there are losses in the transformer to reduce the losses that will come in uh, the next chapter so next topic so hysteresis and eddy current loss to minimize this eddy current loss or hysteresis loss these things are made windings are made up of copper or aluminium so these windings uh, which are wound it is made up of copper or aluminium so this is uh, at the end it looks like this core type transformer um, at the outer if you see how 